Hey, welcome back everyone, this is Bill. So, I don't know what got it into me, but I figured, you know, I wanna try something a little different today. So I'm gonna try to mess around with some dairy. Now, if you hear this rooster crowing in the background, I can't help that. I live in the countryside in the Philippines, and that guy might be my lunch someday, so you never know. Anyways, besides that, I'm gonna try some dairy, but instead of just going all in um, with one shot, I have several different kinds of silicone uh, trays I want to play with, with some ice cream and some yogurt, right? So what I'm thinking of doing is I got some mango yogurt and some mango and some strawberry ice cream. And I'm thinking about making freeze dried yogurt and ice cream drops, right? So you can just, you know, eat them as a, as a treat, basically. I'm not sure how it's gonna work. I, I, everybody does ice cream. I've never done ice cream. I've never done yogurt. Um, and while I'm doing this, I figured I would do a full tray of uh, shredded Parmesan cheese because of all the cheeses, I know the Parmesan would probably be great, even freeze dried, just sprinkled on top of spaghetti or whatever. So you're gonna take this ride with me because I haven't done any of this before. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the silicone mats because they're brand new, they haven't been washed yet. And then I will try to spread some yogurt into these shapes. Now, this is gonna be a multi-part video because I don't have enough silicone to do everything all at once. So I'm gonna to have to fill the trays up, the silicone mats, get those items frozen, and then uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you when they're not frozen, I will pop them out put them back on a tray and then get them back in the freezer without the mats. And then I can reuse the mats again uh, for the next batch of ice cream or yogurt or whatever I choose to do. So it's gonna be like a multi-part video all stitched together here. And we're gonna take this ride together. So I am going to go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna go ahead and wash these mats. I will start with the yogurt first because it's more spreadable um, as the ice cream is still rock solid. So it's gonna take it a moment to melt. And then you'll next see me probably when I got the silicone mats ready and a few trays ready to go into the freezer. Stand by two seconds, we'll take this ride together. Remember, this is a mixed batch of dairy. So I got one super packed tray of Parmesan shredded cheese. I'm gonna get this and the yogurt into the deep freeze right now. All right, so now I'm onto the ice cream. And believe it or not, that's mango ice cream, not yogurt. Um, it's, it's the same exact color. Now I had trimmed these silicone dot mats up to fit my trays. They're cheap enough, I don't care that I cut them up, but I wanted them to be able to put a lid on it. And the main reason is when I put them in the freezer, I don't want any contamination or anything like that. So I cut them up. Sue me, comment below if that was good or bad. They were dirt cheap. I have to wait for this ice cream to melt some more before I even attempt to spread it into these dots. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna take a break for a minute, let that melt. I'll come back up, I'll spread it in there, and then I'll get it into the deep freeze. Two seconds. That was a pain in the butt. So I got my dots full. I ran out of the mango ice cream. And uh, as I was doing this, I thought of a much better way than just bushing it in with the spoon and spreading it around. I'm gonna let it completely melt next time into a plastic pipette bag and just pipe it in uh, each of the dots. Uh, I should have done that in the first place, but I was never a professional cook. I just watched a lot of shows. So I'm gonna go get this in the freeze dryer. I'm also thinking about maybe making some big blocks of ice cream. I'm not sure. Uh, remember, this is all an experiment, right? We're all checking it out. So I'm gonna get the ice cream in the freeze dryer. You'll next see me when I'm pulling the silicone stuff out and popping it out of the silicone, seeing how that works. I hope it works fine. All right, again, stand by. Hey, welcome back. So this is a moment of truth, whether these uh, ice cream ice cube makers and the dots are gonna work. So like you, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, so let me just jump right in at it here. Turn it down here so you can see. Definitely frozen here. 
give that a second. So let's see if I can crack this like ice cubes. That's my hope. And my plan. And that's not going to work. Snap that clean in half. I'm going to let that thaw a little bit and see if maybe that helps. Maybe I'll have some better luck with these dots. Let's see what they do. All right, well, they come out of here just fine. So let me get them all out of here. So I'm literally just pushing them out the back of the silicone. And these things are going to melt quick, so I want to get them out and back into the freezer as quick as possible. So there'll be frozen little dots when I put them into the freeze dryer. They're like a half a dot, they're not a full dot. But I was thinking to myself when I picked up these silicone uh, candy makers basically, that it would be interesting to try this with um, ice cream and yogurt. There's still a lot of work to get these things full. And, but at least these come out really easy. I'm happy about that. But they're melting quick as well. So I gotta be quick about it because they are melting really fast. <laughs> Faster than I thought they would, to be honest with you. Let's see if I can get these out of here quick. Might be a lot of work for a little game, but I wanted to experiment and see. But with the temperature here, these guys are melting really fast, so I'm trying to be really quick about getting them out and on the trays. Now, I did the strawberry. I just put it in uh, the squares from the, the green dividers, so it won't be as small as these little dots are, which is fine as long as uh, they work. Yeah, these, these little dots are so small that they're actually melting really fast. I have a feeling this is not going to work because they are melting so quick that got a whole lot of these to get out of here too. Just the ambient heat in this room is making them melt. Maybe if I spread them out a little bit, they'll stay kind of dotty like. feeling this isn't going to be the best results in the world. I knew this was going to be a race. Yeah, these guys are melting faster than I can get them out of here. Well, they're definitely not going to keep its shape. And that's a shame. I think what I'm going to do is I'll freeze dry them in the silicone, the other tray, and just hope that the silicone's fine. My fear of that was that they would 
break as well. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna continue on. I will probably leave the others in these silicone mats and run them through the freeze dryer in the mat itself with the hope that they'll keep some of their shape because this isn't gonna work. This is not gonna work at all, which is a bummer. So I'm just gonna put the lid on this mess here and get it back in the freezer as well as the other tray of dots. And that's that. Okay, so after that dismal failure of trying to get the frozen dots out of the silicone, as well as the ice cream out of the ice trays, didn't work. I went ahead and turned on the freeze dryer, closed the drain valve and let it pre-chill. And I'm just gonna put these trays right in to the freeze dryer. And my hope is that when they're freeze dried, they come out of the trays a lot more easier. That's all, that's all I can think of doing because obviously pulling those things out early didn't work. So this is how I did the strawberry ice cream. I just put it in squares. And I'm going to leave the yogurt in the silicone and ice tray. These are the dots that I took out. Um, and as you can tell, they melted. It was absolute garbage. I'm not even sure why I put them in there, but let's see. It's a batch of the dots. I'm hoping that will uh, work a lot better. And this is mango ice cream in uh, silicone ice trays. All right, that said, we're off to the races. So I should figure out in about 24 hours or so how this is gonna work out. And you'll come along with this adventure in two minutes. Stand by. All right, welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and release the pressure. This guy finished sometime last night and I hit more dry time, but I'm not sure how this ice cream and yogurt is gonna come out, I'll be honest with you. If you saw the first part of this video, you know I was struggling with the little silicone mats. And I really don't know, I'm hoping, it, I'm hoping it's fine. This is obviously junk. It's uh, the little dots. I mean, they taste good, but it just didn't work. The strawberry looks good though. I'll be curious to see how these come out of the trays. Same with these. It doesn't look too good, but let's see how it comes out. Let me uh, move the camera here. All right, so I'm really curious how these little heart-shaped ones come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it upside down and push. Yeah, see, they just fall apart. They're not coming out good. I mean, some of them are, are heart-shaped, but most of it, most of it's not coming out. Let's try the ice tray ones. All right, so these, these ones came out okay. You can see here, they came out in little chunks, so that's, that's okay. But I don't think these dots are gonna work at all. So let's see what we got here. Yeah, I mean, they're coming out and they're the dots like I wanted, but uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and clean all this stuff up and bag up what I can. But honestly, I think I'm, I'm struggling with these silicon type of things. I don't think it's the best way to make ice cream or yogurt. I think the best way is going to be um, just squaring it up with the dividers. All right, guys. So give me a few minutes. I'll get all this bagged up. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, like today. So it, I'm learning it. I'm learning. All right, in two seconds. All right. So what worked good were these trays. You can see I have both yogurt and the ice cream. They came out perfect. What worked horrible were these. All that work, and I have just a little bit of these uh, ice cream dots. I will not be doing that again. It's too much work. I think I will just stick with these ice trays, um, which work well, and then the regular dividers. So ice cream is something I won't rehydrate. It's something I'm gonna eat as a snack. So I'm gonna get this stuff bagged up. Um, I fell pretty hard here. Um, I thought my idea was good to use the silicone dots and stuff. It was a lot of prep for not really that good a result. The ice trays, plus. The silicone dots, even, even the heart-shaped ones, even these ones here, they just, they don't come out as a heart. They, they just fall apart. It's really hard to get them to come out and uh, it wasn't worth it. I'll do ice cream again, but now I know. So until next time, uh, leave your comments below, smash that like button and, uh, well, that was yogurt and uh, keep on prepping, thanks.